Hi everybody, it's Tara here from Inspire Design. I am going to show you today how to use this template that I have created to make your own mobile friendly Facebook cover photo in Canva. So the first thing you're going to do is right click on this image and save the image as. Save it. I usually save things to my desktop all right so you have it saved you're going to go into canva and log in if you have not logged in already and we are going to click on facebook cover right here now the thing is with the canva facebook template it doesn't give you the mobile safe area that's why i created this template so that it would be really easy for you to see where things should go, your pertinent information, the important things that you don't want to be cut off from view when your screen is resized onto a smaller device. So the first thing you're going to do once you get the Facebook part opened is go to Uploads. Click Upload your own images click on that image we just saved to the desktop and open and then your image will show up right here mine shows up twice because I've already uploaded it previously oh now it shows up three times because I uploaded it twice before so we're just gonna drag it over and there we go now this isn't how it's supposed to be over here um, the beauty beauty of this is that you can resize it so all you need to do is take your cursor to one of these arrow um, po points of the corners of the box, drag it out until it meets the side. And this white area down here, once the rectangle is the correct size, it will disappear completely. So just keep dragging it out. until it is centered and that's too big so I'll bring it in a little bit and there it lines up perfectly and then hit return alright so now you have the template in the background this area that I'm tracing with my mouse it's pretty much the only area you want to put your important information such as logos, text, event times, dates, etc. Um, your background image can fill up the entire area behind but you want to keep all of your important information here. Um, sometimes it can come down here a little bit but if you have a really long page title it will come up and cover some of your your image and be confusing possibly to some people so if you click on this image we're gonna take down the opacity so that it doesn't interfere with our design that we're creating so click on transparency and when you drag the transparency down it will make this a little bit less obtrusive so now is when you can add your text. We will add, let's add bedtime fairy stories. Oh, there it is. Okay. And so you can see that this is this text is moving out of the mobile safe area and we're going to make it a different color because we cannot see it here. So what we can do is move, drag, and um, resize the entire thing so that it fits between this bottom line here and then this line up here. And
again so then you just position it to wherever you want and when you are finished with the design your entire design you can click on the back image that the template that we have created and hit delete and it will disappear so from here we need to fill in the background you can fill in the background with patterns you can fill in the background with um, textures you can even fill in with solid colors we are going to leave it just like this so from here we're going to hit download and you can download it as an image for oh, the web PDF, PDF for print it's going to be for the web so click that it'll save it and then you upload that final design to your Facebook page thanks so much for watching I hope you learned something helpful and have a wonderful day.